So we have the no, yellow Ingmar player Erby at the bottom right side against the red Dwarven player Mustafa at the top left side. Once again, that's the second time Mustafa is playing Dwarves. And Erby is playing also now Ingmar for the second time. No heart attack. You need some chicken burgers. True. <laughs> well, that's GG for Dwarves. True. I agree. I agree with that as well. You need to play extremely well. You know what's great against Ingmar though, guys? You will laugh now, but trust me, I'm not lying to you. You know what's great against Ingmar? <laughs> it's when you get the Forge Warwicks and get some Demolishers on the field. Holy moly, guys, this is so effective. You have to try that. You have to. Demolisher Rush against Ingmar is so hard for Ingmar to deal with. Even the Pikemen are gonna get trampled down and one-shotted. You wanna make a Forge Warwicks here, get a Demolisher on the field, and trust me, it's pretty much GG's. Uh, extra will start from Mustafa. And Engma is getting, of course, Hall of the Kingsman. So nothing too special, normal start. Engma is pretty limited in terms of, of the possibility. Do you like sushi? No. No, no, no. I don't like that. My wife was forcing me to eat it one time. I can't. Why? <laughs> why would you do that, bro? You know, why would you eat a fish? Like, I don't know, man. It's like Gollum. Gollum in the movie, you know? He was pretty much grabbing a fish from the sea and was eating it raw, you know? Dude, why? But you don't have a kitchen or something? I don't get it. Uh, no fish? I, I like to eat fish. I like to eat fish, but not uh, sushi. Like, you know, that's, I mean, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm, a, bit, I'm a bit weird, but for me, alone, the, the idea of eating something which is not cooked or grilled, I don't like it. It's really good, alright? My wife was forcing me to eat one time because she also likes sushi a lot, but I didn't like it. It didn't taste to any... You know, it was like no taste at all. Like, I couldn't taste anything. You know? It's like water. When you eat, drink water, you have also no taste in your mouth, right? So no taste, but a weird feeling such like... I can't explain the feeling what I had. So Gundabad Warriors, Gundabad Warriors coming from the top side. He has one, two extra words inside the jeans. Let's see. <laughs> listen to your wife more. Of course, I have to listen to my wife. She's the boss. Drinking your yogurt with salt, uh, iron sounds also weird. That's good though. That's good. Iron is, mwah, iron is great. You shake it, you drink it. Mwah, voila, bueno. I let sometimes uncooked stuff, really. I eat sometimes uncooked stuff, really. I eat all vegetables and fruits. I mean, of course, fruits. Um, you can't cook fruits, right? So, I got you, but... Uh, let's get some demolishers on the field, yeah. But I feel I feel like you wanna, if you want to go for demolishers, you need to do it kind of offensively, you know? Because it's so slow. Like, when you build Forge Works here, the way, you know, the time you need to move from this area to this area with the demolisher is gonna take you legit 10 minutes no lie okay not a great situation here for mustafa uh he has no pikeman right no he has no pikeman oh he has one pikeman okay but what <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but why you <laughs> dude why are you camping into the inside the mineshaft bro why i don't get it come on move Oh, he's gonna lose every single mind job because of that. I don't know what he was hoping for. Like, was he hiding or something? I don't get it. In Netherlands, I tried some local reveal and cooked. But good? Was weird, but good, okay. I mean, maybe it's me because I'm like, I don't like to try new things. Especially things which doesn't sound delicious to me in my ears at the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like, when my wife was asking me, Hey darling, let's go eat sushi. And then you, I have this imagination in my in my head, like a fish, uncooked, uh, like you know, it's raw fish. I don't know. Alone in my imagination, it was not tasting good. I was like, no, I don't want to try this, you know. And I and a couple of friends of mine, for example, if you go to China, there are you can literally buy like uh, you know, you can eat snakes, you can eat. Reptiles, you can you can eat they eat everything, you know what I'm saying? 
And apparently it's even healthy, but I don't want to try that, dude. <laughs> I'm happy with that what I've tried so far in my life. I'm not looking for new uh, stuff to eat. You know? Maybe it's me. Hey, Jambai, welcome. Anyone tried cooked air? Of course, every day. There is a good sushi place and then there is a shitty sh uh, sushi place. Yeah, of course, every, you know, it's pretty much the, it's pretty much the case for every uh, everything you can buy outside. If it's delicious, why not? Yeah, but that's the thing, you know. I don't want to give it a try because maybe it's me because I don't. I'm too scared of you know. It might not be tasty. It might. It might not be delicious. So I might regret it. And for that reason, I don't want to give it. I don't want to try most of the time. New stuff to eat. So Engma has double hall of the Kingsmen. One of them is level two for the Black Numenorians. All right, I like that. That's a nice thing. They are tankier. And dwarves are still in the game, but uh, I believe he lost a lot of mine shafts. And look at the mine shafts he's building next to each other just to be able to increase his command points. 650? 450 for Engma, okay. So actually, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe it's not over for dwarves just yet. Looks great actually for Mustafa right now. If he can group with all the units he has, he has a massive army. You do you see that? So he has one, two, three, guard, uh, three extra wars, one pikeman. One extra over, one pikeman. So in total, he has four extra overs and two pikemen. Uh, he can leave this army or this units inside the mine shaft and you know use them for defense, and then he can group with all these units and these units for a big push. Would be awesome. Let's see if he can do that. Uh, again, sending them two by two is a mistake. Does he have rallying call? The answer is yeah, but Warshan is also available for the Engma player. Oh, that's a bad thing for Mustafa. He's leaving those extra wars unguarded and protected, and that's gonna cause them to be taken down by the wolf riders. Might be able to destroy this tunnel. No, this mill is gonna be saved. In the meantime, this mineshaft is gonna be targeted and be taken down. I'm assuming. Okay, one battalion is gone, but the other one is safe. You can also use bombard, by the way, with this unit. But it's too late now, and the mineshaft is gonna be taken down. We have now hero on the field. Waldo, rallying call has been used from Mustafa with a big force. Warchan is going to be used defensively. One Guardian, one Pikeman, and extra overs only. Uh, Irby has not many Wolf Riders on the field. He has actually one Battalion only, and this one is quite badly damaged, so he has to be careful. Big Army push is incoming, yes. But he has a hero advantage here. But you don't want to go into the enemy army like that. Like the Monorians are also in the front side, doing a nice job. Delvin is coming in clutch to disable the enemy units. That's gonna give him the chance to commit against the army even further. He is gonna be used from Mustafa to have some sustain on the army. But Black Numenorians are doing a nice job and there comes a the trample. There comes a the trample and no more pikemen, no more problem. One more trample to rule them all? No. The battalion is going down. Extra wars against extra wars pretty much. All is level 2 now. But one more Wolf Rider to rule them all. And that's the thing. That's why you need to be patient. Wait for King Brand. Get some more Pikemen. One Pikeman is not enough. Because then Irby has to just literally kill the one Pikeman you have. Then he can he can commit against you with the Wolf Riders. There's a statue here though for the, for the leadership part. But he can't keep this area protected. That's not possible. He's gonna lose these units to this Black Nomonorians. And they are also one of the best swordsmen in the game. And again, sending Guardians out uh, in the aggressive stance, getting trampled down, uh, doesn't achieve too much. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, I believe the Black Numenorians should, should be able to smash those Guardians in no time. The statue is going to be taken down. And King Brand is using nice one, but Black Numenorians, they are not dying that fast. Statue is gone. That means no more leadership. Walter has to be careful. He's level 3, but he's fine. Because the Dwarven units, once again, are extremely slow. And there, there is no world in which they can catch you. <laughs> Extra... Okay. Uh, this one is for X-Trowers. Extroverts. <laughs> or maybe it sounds like that. Because I'm naturally a fast-speaking guy. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so the mill is the target. I believe this one is going to be taken down. Does he have Snowbind? The answer is yeah. Level 2 tunnel, uh, mill, sorry, not tunnel. It's gonna be safe for now. 
Uh, Fort Vortex. No, no Demolishers. Come on, dude. He's gonna get some Battle Wagons on the field instead. Uh, what is great against Ingmar is leadership. Like, the only possible way... Or the only two possible ways, in this case, sorry, for Ingmar to nullify your leadership is either the Witch King of Ingmar himself or... Uh, the Sorcerer Battalion, you know? I am the fist of so leadership on this Battle Wagons could be nice with the banners. Would be awesome. I speak with the Witch King's voice. Yeah, exactly. And also the extroverts from... Uh, I believe the extroverts from Isengard, are, from Isengard are the best, right? From the Wildman of Dunland. From the class setting level 2. The Wildman extroverts. Rallying has been used. 575 command points. This mid is going down. No more Snowbind available. Nice move here from Mustafa. Actually, he's doing a nice job now. He's keeping up the pressure all the time. But it's Walter when we need him. We have King Brand. Oh, Slapshot is incoming into the front line. Nice one. But Black Numenorians, they are no joke. They are very... Oh, bad trample, bad trample, bad trample. Abort mission, abort mission, abort mission. Oh. Sucking in. War chanting and bursting down the King Brand. Just like that. 100 to 0 OTK. Holy moly. It was a nice one. Surround him, Black Numenorians, Waldo. And Vialvin is such a great power point. Exclusively for Engma. And Engma gets to pick it from the spellbook with five power points only. And this power point gives you the chance to make the craziest wombo combo potentials ever. Like, you can do so much stuff, you know? Felwind Longshot, Felwind Blight, Felwind Rogash. Jump attack. Rogash. Oh, the battle are gone. Uh, Rogash splash. Witch King splash. And we are only talking about 1v1s. Imagine like a 2v2 with Ingmar ally. Awesome. Uh, Banner is incoming. This one might go for the well. Yeah, that's gonna be also the pl uh, plan from Mustafa. So now, he has a mobile statue, pretty much. Without the fear resistant, but once again, fear resistant not important, but the, bu but the builder gonna be taken down by this snow trolls uh, and the other one is gonna give you sustain over time which is very effective so you can keep fighting all the time and this battle weapon is gonna keep healing you all the time which king's voice 500 command points available the snowbind is on cooldown hobbit summon defensively from mustafa around this side into the rallying call if i'm not mistaken no rallying call is on cooldown but they have charge attack this black numenorians but they are out now. What is this sound, though? <laughs> the, <laughs> the frying pan. Oh, but the hobbitses, the hobbitses, the sneaky little hobbitses, as Gollum would like to call them. Waldo is level 4. This means are gonna be spotted and taken down by Mustafa. And Mustafa has now the control of the left side entirely. And he's also getting the control of the right side of the map, which is quite awesome. Uh, King Brand is back in the business. Level almost 5. Level 7 is not bad in this matchup because you will get the chance to one-shot, for example, Giants. You know, you can, from the summon of the Engma, you can also one-shot uh, stuff like Snow Trolls or something, Heal Trolls. But also, most importantly, it deals so much damage against Rogash. Against the Witch King, I believe, too. I mean, long story short, uh, the Beast Slayer Arrow is able to deal 80% of the, of the HP from the Balrog. I mean, and also from uh, Dragon Lord Drogov. Hey! Oh. Hey, Pippin! Why are you doing that, Pippin? Mary and oh. Pippin, side by side, the, nep the nephews, you know? The cousins. Oh my goodness. Mustafa is like back in the business, guys. He was down 2 0, and I believe he got this in his pocket. I believe he got this game literally in his pocket. He's doing a fantastic and phenomenal job against Erby, as dwarves against Ingmar. What a great performance, even though the start wasn't the best. Be careful with the battle wagon, but the Felwind is to suck them in. And one of them, the well one, is gonna be taking out. That's a beautiful slap shot incoming from the young king brand. Volda is surrounded, he has to be careful. That's a summon of the healman from his level 5 ability. He's extremely low into the orc summon. All of a sudden, Ingmar is outnumbering dwarves. But 
he might be taken down. Two more hits from King Brand, but it looks like he's going to be able to get behind the building and he's safe for now. The battle wagon has been taken down. King Brand is running for his life. And this fight is going to be won by the Engma player Erby. With the reinforcement summon from the spellbook of Engma with the Oryx summon. And also with the Healman summon from Waldo level 5. Gucci, great, and he was also able to save the hero, which is very important. So, we have also Gloin on the field. Gloin is the daddy from Gimli Sun. Gimli, I mean, Gimli is Gimli, you know what I'm saying? Gimli is, is Superman, and this is the Super Daddy. He a, he's a siege monster. He's a hero made to siege. Extremely tanky. Thick, because he has a lot of HP. And also slow, like a tank. Pretty much. Is this the version where better? No, we are using uh, beta 14. We have a fight here between these units. 14 power points collected. Ilman is on cooldown. And I believe the Black Monorians, they are not the best choice. They don't feel extremely strong. But he has now 15 power points collected. Barrage is going to be his choice. Look at this. Booyah! The blue fire on the ground. The barrage is coming in clutch. Does only not kill the level 2 because it's level 2. If this would be a level 1, all of the Kingsmen, it would be getting one-shotted. Barrage is such a great ability from the spellbook. And it's not only good against buildings, but also against units. A nice one from Mustafa definitely. In the meantime, he has to defend himself. This level 2 main shot is going to be eventually taken down. Yeah, it's going down. Uh, King Brand is almost level 6. But Gloin is left alone. Can he use Shake Foundation before he falls? Guys, chat, chat, please pay attention. You will now get the chance to see this Shake Foundation. That's a full HP Barracks of Ingmar. And nearly one shot it, hit him two more times. Oh, but he's gonna use Snowbind to save it. And Gloin, no, Gloin! Hello, Dark is my old friend. It was too cold for Gloin. It's too cold, it's too snowy, and Gloin has been frozen, pretty much. 810 command points for dwarves and 500 command points for Erby. Erby has a lot of money actually, he has nearly 2000. Maybe Karsh can be a nice choice from him. Or also Morgomir. Of course, Rogash can be great, but I believe he has to invest a lot of money now into, you know, getting more and more mines or mills on the field to be able to increase the command points because he has only 500 command points collected so far. Urbi is on fire, true. I want Rogash too, my friend. Would like to see Rogash too. Be awesome. 14 power points, 15 is going to give Erby the chance to summon the mighty giants and with this he will have a threat on his fortress, but Delvind, Black Numenorians, King Brand, Brand is in, yo, King Brand, my young friend, don't die, he's running for his life, okay, okay, nice, that's a summon of the hillman, giant summon, oh my goodness, can he actually do that? I mean, he's playing against dwarves. He has enough power points for the rebuild, so committing against the fortress might not be the best call. But maybe you can try to take down a couple of these mineshafts. I think that's a better idea from Erby. Because, again, you know, the rebuild is healing up the fortress big time. We have now Men of Deal on these battle wagons. Three of them, actually, guys. Uh, that kinda, that's costing you pretty much 900 each. So 900, 1,800, 2,700, a lot of money has been invested into these three battle wagons. The giant summon, ladies and gentlemen. And the game is freezing. Is he gonna commit against the fortress? I hope not. I think it's a mistake. That, that's a smart idea from Erby. That's a smart idea from Erby. I like this. Deal economical damage, don't set everything on the one card. Kill. There we go, that's a very smart. He was able to destroy the level 3 mineshaft, he was able to destroy this level 2 mineshaft. You know what? It's absolutely fine. Committing against the fortress is too risky. It's too risky. That's why he didn't want to take the risk. We have Morgomir on the field, he has now level 2 debuff. This is threat visage, but it's not nullifying enemy leadership bonuses. Oh, but actually, this dude got buffed, right? So he has now this Dark Glory with level 6, even though. Uh, the shortcut is saying level 7, but it's level 6. Oh, 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 be careful! 
dude, <laughs> don't play with the fire, Erby. And that means when he's level 6, the Dark Glory will not only make him deal 50% uh, more damage and, you know, become 33% tankier, but also the Nerby allied uh, Black Numenorians, for example, are gonna be able to deal more damage when next to Morgomir. Um, the Hobbits are gonna be gone very soon, they shouldn't be able to achieve too much more. Frozen Land, or Snowbind, sorry. Men of the Hill are coming. Oh, the Sniper Rino, can they take it down? Morgomir, run for your life! <laughs> okay, okay, Felwind or no? No, Felwind is available. Morgomir is gonna be hunted down by this mighty battle wagons. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. Actually, he's not tanky, dude. Die! <laughs> Why is he not dying, bro? Are you kidding me? How weak are these three men of the? I don't get it. Horrible. This guy was like, I would have, I would get so tilted here. I would get so tilted here. I gotta be honest with you. If this would be me, I am chasing, commenting against a guy who has one HP left with three battle wagons, man of the hill, and I can't kill him. I would get so tilted. <laughs> I would so get so tilted, guys. Uh, BFM1 campaign is so easy, even on hard. Yeah, BFM1 campaign is unfortunately very easy. That's true. That's absolutely true. All right. Beautiful trample is incoming into the, you know, after the orc summon from the Engma player, Erby. Uh, 860 command points by Mustafa, 350 only from Erby. So Erby has literally two mils. That's it. That's it. But Waldo is gig. Oh, he's summoning Pikeman. Battle are gonna have to be careful. Oh, nice. Felvind. One of them is getting instantly burst down. The second one is going down as well. And the third one is going down as well. Just like that. All the battle wagons corners. And Brand has to be careful. Brand, 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 Brand. Brand. He's taking a lot of damage. Can he get away in time? One more hit. Oh my goodness, the heroes are able to survive with 1 HP. Morgomir was able to recover. He's coming back into the business. What is Brand doing? Can somebody explain me? Karsh is on the field and Brand is going to be taken down by the Engma player Erby. They have a level 5 Waldo. They have Karsh on the field with the Chill Soul available, which means damage, constant damage over time to the Nerby or nearby enemy units around Karsh. And also Karch got a change, so once he's level 2, he will give you also fear resistant. She foundation and the last high leveled mill from the Engma player RB is gonna be taken down by nobody else and less than the mighty Gloin, the siege monster of the dwarven faction. But he's slow, he's extremely slow, and he's gonna be bursted down. You only get 147 for killing him though, you don't get too much money, but at least he was getting a lot of money from killing all these units. He has 13 power points collected, even though his command points kept, but he has 3 strong heroes on the field, as for example Morgomir, Karsh and Waldo. On the other side, we have 15 power points collected for King Mustafa, he is 10 power points away from his 25, and he has 935 power, uh, command points in total under his control, which means he has way better eco. Trust me on that one, then Erby will ever have. Engmar's eco is bad. Like, Engmar is not known and also not famous for the strong eco. You know what I'm saying? You have no industry, you have no devastation, you have nothing like this, unlike Isengard, Mordor. Even goblins have Lumber Mills. Even goblins have Scavenger. But Engmar, that's the only weakness of Engmar, is the lack of money. I mean, if Erby can turn this game around after being so behind pretty much the past 10 minutes, it would be awesome. Don't underestimate this guy, by the way, guys. If he gets level 8, the Whisper of Death is able to one-shot, I believe it can one-shot Gloin, like 100 to 0, you know? So he's gonna creep this one, get some money. Level four is level five is going to unlock the Morgul Blade, which is similar to the cripple ability from Lourdes. It's a shorter duration, but you can stop an enemy hero from moving. And he's gonna turn into a white after you take him down. Karch is doing a nice job. He needs to protect this mill level too, though. Does he have snowbinds? The answer is yes. But he's not gonna oh, he's gonna use it now, okay? I mean Karch is getting some levels. Could be Voris, and also this is dealing a lot of damage to Blink. 16 power points collected. What is your favorite hero mate? Uh I mean. Come on, don't ask me this question. Don't ask me questions when you know the answer already, bro. 
I like Gandalf, you know what I'm saying? I like Gandalf, but he's so big. I like Gandalf in BF BFME 1. In BFME 1, he's my favorite. Uh, hero by far. Level 3 Karsh. Oil bottle is gonna be used on this mill, and this one is gonna be taken down over time from the fire. No more snowbind available, keep that in mind. Mustafa is struggling to finish off the game. Oh, fell window! Car show! Big commitment! Can he get away with the battle wagons? I guess he can. Car is not dealing too much damage to them. But I believe, yeah, yeah, he's fine, he's fine. They should be able to get away. They are also killing units as they are walking around. They are kinda slow, but. The enemy units are slower, of course. They are horse. These are infantry units. Karsh is also not fast enough to catch them, which makes sense. But he has debuff. He has leadership. So he has Vorchant available, I think. But guys, Barrage. 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 Barrage is gonna be a tough one, I'm telling you. If he uses Barrage here, or Hobbit summon, big commitment, big fight here. Throw the baggins, guys. Oh, Cloud Break is gonna be his choice. Are you kidding me? If Karch would be here, no fear resistant. Fear resistant, by the way. Fear resistant. You see this enemy? These units are not stunned. Do you see that? Why? Because Karch. You don't have this ability shown in his spells, but he has fear resistant now. So Cloud Break is kind of delaying his 25 for no reason. And guess what? Irby has 19 power points collected after the giant summon. So. I think Irby can time it, like Irby getting 25 and the Giants are gonna be available again. So if he can time this one, Giants and 25 at the same time, he has the potential to take down the Fortress. Even though Dwarves have rebuilt. So, but this is always a possibility, please keep that in mind. Hello Son Goku, welcome. Okay, 20 power points collectors now. Holy moly, this is gonna be a great comeback. Man of the year, ladies and gentlemen from Mustafa on the field uh, 650 command points for Engma, he's recovering actually and 935 for the dwarves Mustafa has a lot of money but we have not seen one time something like King Dean or Gimli so no heroes besides Gloin and King Brand I would love to see Gimli Gimli is a hero destroyer like once he's level 5 he's on the roll he's like in his element, you know what I'm saying? Level 4, Barash is available now for a couple of minutes. He's not using it. Karsh, 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 Karsh. No teleport. He needs to be level 5. The battle wagons are running him down and... Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the white hero has been taken down. And that's that bad. That's bad. Like, that's really bad. Maybe you can do st stuff like that when you have to blink. But the Barash incoming against the units this time. And the majority of the army from the Engma player is going to be taken down. Morgomir is low. He's fine, but he needs to retreat now. Does he, is he have, no level? Not level seven just yet. That's a reinforcement summon from Waldo. Might be able to kill this King Brand if he's paying attention. The battle wagons are coming. The battle cruisers, as we would like to call them, five of them, ladies and gentlemen, five battle wagons in total. King Brand is in a safe spot. The slap shot is incoming. Pew! Slap shot. But he is gonna be taken down by Morgomir, who has now level 5. Morgul Blades unlocked. And Engma, guys, guys, guys. He has 25. Wolf, ready. Giant Summon, ready. This Wombo combo potential and Damiando, my friend, you are coming as a wizard. Never too late, never too early. You arrive precisely when the fiesta is all about to begin because this is gonna be the win condition now from Irby. Chad, watch now, please. He's going ham. He's going inside the jeans. Mustafa was messing around. Mustafa was investing a lot of money, thousands of resources into these battle wagons, but now he's giving Irby the chance to end this game once and for all. He's going now for the wolf summon into the giants. There he comes, the big bad wolf. Let's go, Wolf. This guy is a this guy is so nice against Fortress, guys. He's the best against Fortress by far. Eat for the Devourer, which increases your damage by 50, and then just hit the Fortress with the Call the Pack. So Giant Summon at the same time, like it does. Where is the Giant Summon when we need it? There we go, Giant Summon, and that's the Wombo Combo potential. Yes, Rebuild, I believe, yeah. But is this gonna be able to save the day? I don't think so. He needs to use the Call the Call the Pack. Which is dealing a lot of damage to the fortress. Mustafa is getting some up, some upgrades on the fortress. He's gonna use rebuild very early, but giants they have still a lot of time. If he can't kill these giants, even even he can, 
<laughs> Get your tracks ready for this bombo combo. I'm telling you, chat. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, the Felvin Wombo doesn't end here. He was actually knocking down his own giants away from... No, holy moly. <laughs> Felvin into the cold pack and Mustafa's fortress is going down. Just like that. But Gimli, though. Gimli can... Nah, he's level 1, dude. Does he have money to rebuy the fortress? He has a lot of command points available, chat. He might be able to get the fortress back in the business. But he has like 4 production buildings left and that's what keeps him alive. The Giants, they will get the chance to attack one more, two more times. One more time, I believe. And then he's gonna be gone. He's freezing the enemy units. The Giant won't be able to finish off this one, unfortunately. But Fortress is down. You know what that means? It means Mustafa is not able to use his power points anymore. That's the deadly combination. And I've no, never seen this one. That's a nice from Irby. They call the pack. He was using Felvin to catch all these battle wagons and call the pack, killing every single battle wagon. Five. And everyone had like extrovers or men of deal. There's like a 5,000 resources. He was losing just like that. Smart move. Great execution by Irby. That's why he was not using call the pack against the fortress, I'm assuming. It was a nice move. Michael Lyon, welcome. What a nice game, Yak Tira, right? That's a nice one. Let's see if Irby can still win this one because this is not over yet. Mustafa has a lot of money. He will have the money very soon to rebuy his fortress. Mineshaft level 3 is going to be spotted and taken down. That's going to lower his command points by 100. By 100. 625 command points only for Engma. Oof. Another level 3 mineshaft. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he was able to kill the Trauma Master from with the level 3 tunnel, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the Trauma Master, you can target them. It's a white. I believe that that one comes from the Morgul Bleed, yeah. So Engma has now a lot of time. He has a lot of time to recover, to make more units, to keep up the pressure all the time. And for the first time after, since like, I think 15 to 20 minutes, Mustafa is dropping down to 635 command points only. He has only... Gimli on the field. Gimli is level 2. And he's not very strong just yet. He needs to be level 5 for the Slayer. Slayer is gonna make him super, to Superman. Super Gimli, pretty much. <laughs> you know? But until then, he's kind of weak. Especially against Morgomia, who can cripple him down with the Morgul Bleed. And again, Dwarven heroes are thick and they are tanky, but they are also very slow. The Fortress is coming up already, guys. That's how much Mustafa, how much money Mustafa had. But look his command points now. He's dropping down to 485. And for the first time since 25 minutes, Irby has more command points available than his opponent. This is awesome. That's why you should never ever underestimate your opponent. He was messing around. I know what Mustafa was doing. He was just having fun with the battle wagons, cruising around, making a big army with the battle wagons, but not with Irby. Oof, nice one. Go for a leap attack. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Uh oh. Karsh is back in the business. Waldo is back in the business. Level 7 and level 4. Engma is cleaning up. I mean, there is also a mineshaft level 3. If Irby can take it down, Irby will be able to lower the command points from Mustafa to 300, 310 command points. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Go for the, for the jump. Oof. He's killing them so fast, dude. Here comes Gimli. Ha ha! On your face. But is Gimli enough to save the day? I doubt that this is not gonna be enough. And what a great comeback here from Irby. What a great comeback. Can you imagine? I believe like 99% of the players in Irby's skin in this game would have given up many, many minutes ago, right? I mean, probably, Chad, you need to admit, if you would be in Arby's place like 10 minutes ago, you would have given up, right? Let me know, please. You would say, GG, we can't win this one. You would have left. Be honest with me. I would have left myself. I would have given up. You know, being, defending myself only with 300, 400 command points against somebody with 1,000 command points all the time, I would have given up. But Arby is a proof that never give up, never surrender. Production buildings are going down. 
And who was the win condition here? I mean, it's like a big brain from Irby. It's his patience, but also Waldo was doing such a nice job. Oh, Gimli. Jump. Oh, jump. I'm telling you. Jump. Jump. Undermine. <laughs> Undermine is so nice against Ingma units. Jump. Jump. Oh, he's trying to get into the mine job, right? To escape. What? He got crippled and got inside the mine at the same time. But he has to... Does he have another mine shaft or something? Let me know. Let me check. Yeah, there is another mine shaft and Gimli is safe for now. It's a level 3 mine shaft right there. But he's he's crippled from the Morgul Blade. Okay, that's the last production buildings. This Hall of Warriors and now only the Archer range is left. And the Fortress is up, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, what if you have units in mine shafts, but enemy destroys all the mine shafts? I believe they are forced to come back then from the last mine shaft. I believe. I don't. I'm not very sure. I don't know if they die, but I believe they are all coming out then from the mine shaft automatically. Maybe we will get the chance to see that because now nah, never mind. Yeah, these are the last two mine shafts, so we will see now what's gonna happen. I guess one more mine shaft here anyway. So it's okay. Never mind. So he's gonna be able to wait with Gimli. He's still in the mineshaft, and that's the last unit from uh, Mustafa. That's the that's like all he got. 80 command points for Gimli. That's it. <laughs> all right, so let's see. He has Cloud Break. But Karsh. Oh, that's going to be a perfect proof, guys. Karsh is around. Cloud Break is available. Watch now, please. Watch now. He's going to use Cloud Break. He has to. But guess what? No fear. Karsh is here. Fear resistant is coming in clutch. But the leap attack from the Superman Gimli. He killed everything, dude. Are you kidding me? Gimli from downtown. He killed the entire army. <laughs> I love Gimli. You gotta love Gimli. Look how serious he's looking like. He's confident. He has full HP. He has heal. He is not worried about anything. He's just slow. They are not made for marathons, guys. They are not the best sprinters in the universe. So they are extremely slow, but yes, this leap attack was doing a nice job. If he would be level 5, that's a different story. Then he can, he can catch this Karsh in no time. He can catch this Morgomi in no time. He can catch this Waldon in no time. But I cannot believe it. All game long defending, defending, defending. And then being patient. Waiting. With the giant summon. He was having giant summon for a long time. He was waiting patiently to get 25. To be able to get the wolf summon unlocked. And then the combination. Especially the one with the Calder Pack and Felwind against the Battle Wagons was juicy. And you can see Irby doesn't lose his patient, patience. And also doesn't lose his motivation and the will to win the game. Even after playing 35 minutes in a single game as Engma. The Builder is getting bullied, but I think he should be fine. Gimli is a one-man army, true. Gimli is a one-man army indeed. And Gimli... Oh, guys, 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 guys. Leap attack. Oh, no. Alright, I want to see Gimli against the world. I want to see that. Use leap attack. Oh, does he have heal? Oh, but he's getting bursted. Oh, he's getting bursted. Dude, leap attack. Oh, oh, no way. The burst damage from the pikemen and heroes. And he can't move, right? That's why Felwyn is... Holy guacamole. Felwyn is just... Oh, Witch King is here anyway. <laughs> Witch King of Engma is riding the Engma army victory. Gimli needs 1000 army to level up to level 5. Actually, yeah. I was also expecting him to level up faster. 